downtown streets Same damn silence I pass Not a word to speak Today I'm going to be doing this makeup tutorial for you guys. I decided to throw together a dark smoky eye and a dark vampy lip. I have done a few smoky eyes on my channel, but this one has no liner and it has a little bit of like a cranberry color in the crease, so I thought that would be perfect and it goes perfectly with this really vampy cranberry lip that I did. So I'm super excited because I want to wear this all the time. I'm not going to continue to blab, I just want to jump right into the tutorial so you guys can see how I achieve this look. So first I'm going to start off with my MAC Paint Pot in Paint Jelly and I'm going to be taking this on just a blending brush and I'm going to be putting that all over my eyelids. This is going to help prep us for all of the eyeshadows that we're going to be using and it's just going to help them pop just a little bit more. The first color that I'm going to take is Max Blank Type. I love using this as kind of an all over color on top of that painterly paint pot. It really just sets that primer and it makes it easier for us to blend in different colors and I also use it as a really nice brow bone highlight because it's really nice and matte and it's bright and it just looks really good with any type of look. So this first color is going to be Max Saddle. Now I really love this color as a crease color, especially when doing really dark smoky eyes. I love the warm brown intense color and I just think it looks really good. It looks so good if you keep blending it out and just keep adding more and more as you go. You want to make sure that you don't start with a lot because then it will be like really splotchy and everything so I'm just taking that with a BH Cosmetics blending brush which is my all-time favorite blending brush and I'm just putting that into my crease as a transition color so next I'm going in with the Balms Nude Tude Palette and I'm taking the color Sexy which is a burgundy brown color and I love this color for just really smoked out cranberry looks. I think it looks really nice. Sometimes this color can look a little bit more dark brown than burgundy but if you go in lightly at first and then build it up it starts to look a lot more burgundy. So I'm just taking that with a small little fluffy brush and just placing that on the outer V. And of course, I take my time and I build it up to the color that I really like. This is going to take a little while because, like I said, if you put too much on at once, it starts to look a little bit more brown and muddy, whereas we wanted it to look a little bit more cranberry. So I build it up as I go, and I just keep blending that into the outer V, and I just take that blending brush and blend it out. Then I'm going to go back in with that BH Cosmetics blending brush with no additional product on it and I'm just going to buff out those two colors and make them really nice and soft and blend them together because it kind of looked a little bit harsh at first. Then I'm going to go in with the color Serious from the same Nude Tude palette and this is just a really dark matte black color and I love this matte black. It's just really intense so I'm taking that on a flat brush and I'm just placing that onto the lids. I'm not really putting it in any precise area. I'm just packing it on and then I'm going to blend it out. After I put that on, I'm going to take a 217 blending brush with a little bit, and when I say a little bit, I mean a very tiny amount of that black color, and I'm going to blend it into my crease. This is going to help give us that nice transition between the black and the browns that we use because, like I said, if you look at this right now, it looks really harsh, and you can really tell where that line is between the black and the brown. So I'm just going to go back and forth a million kajillion times blending that out because we want it to be nice and soft. And then I take a little bit more and I just place it into the crease area. And then I'm going to go back in with that color and place it with that flat brush on the lid to intensify it because throughout the blending process we are definitely losing a lot of color. So putting that back on is going to be the number one set for the really intense look. And then of course, once again, I blend out the edges because we don't want it to be really harsh. And like I said, you're going to lose a lot of the product no matter what you do. But putting it back on and blending a little bit more will kind of diffuse that color and it will look really nice. Now to move on to the face, I'm going to be using my Smashbox 
Photo Finish Primer. This came in my Ipsy Glam Bag, and this is the new Pour one. So I'm trying this out for the first time, and I I kind of like it. I don't really know how I feel about it yet, but I do like it, so I'm just placing that all over my face. And then I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl True Blend in M4 with a Kabuki brush and just blend that all over my face. There's no technique to this. I have a foundation routine if you guys want to see exactly what I do. I pretty much do the same technique every single time, so I'm just going to speed this up for you guys. Then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm using this underneath my eyes on my chin. I'm going to be putting it on my forehead and down my nose to highlight specific areas and make those places stand out just a little bit more. Then I'm going to take my Sigma Flawless Concealer Brush and blend out that concealer. Let me tell you, this brush is amazing and if you do not have this brush in your life, you definitely need to try it out, especially if you love concealer because this blends out your concealer amazingly and I think that a lot of people would really enjoy it. Now to set my under eye concealer, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Banana Powder, and sorry if that's blurry, but I'm just going to be taking that on just an e.l.f. little tapered brush and placing that underneath my eyes to brighten that area just a little bit more and set it so it doesn't crease throughout the day. I'm pretty much placing this wherever I place concealer because we want to make sure that it doesn't crease and we just want those areas to be really bright. I'm going to set my face with my NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder and I'm lightly dusting that on my face. I This foundation really kind of does it itself. It doesn't really leave me dewy or anything. So I just place a little bit of that onto my face to set it and keep it all in place. I'm using my same Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm taking the color Fawn and I'm taking this Real Techniques contour brush I believe it is and I'm just going to be giving myself a really nice deep contour. I really wanted it to be super intense because well this is a fall intense look I guess you can say. It's really dark and I felt like this would be perfect for it so I decided to go all out with the contour today. And then I'm going to go in with this pencil brush and run the same saddle color and the same sexy color from the new Tude palette underneath my eyes. And I just do that for a really long time actually. I'm taking my L'Oreal, I believe this is, Smoldering Eye Coal, and I'm just placing that in my waterline and a little bit underneath my lash line. We want that smoked out effect, so I'm using this and I felt like this was really easy to blend out. Then I'm going to go in with this small little pencil brush and I'm just going to be adding a little bit of the black color and the maroon color mixed together and just really blending that out. The whole key to this look is I really want it to be super cranberry underneath the eyes. Then I'm taking my MAC 217 brush and I'm just blending out those edges just a little bit more because they were very intense. So I'm just blending out those harsh edges underneath so it doesn't look like I have raccoon eyes. For mascara, I'm using my Ico Black Magic Mascara, and I really enjoy this mascara. It's super nice, and it's just really black. So I'm just placing that onto my lashes to prep for our falsies. Now, these falsies are from I Wear Lashes Company. They are a newer company, and I'm obsessed with these lashes. They are so gorgeous. They are the Isis, I think that's what they're called, the Isis um, Collection. And I am obsessed with these. They are so gorgeous. And this is probably the most expensive pair of lashes that I've ever owned in my life. So I was super excited when I got these. For blush, of course I'm using my MAC Harmony Blush. I use this in every single video. This is my staple go-to blush. I don't ever use anything ever different. So I'm just placing that on my cheekbones. And then I'm taking some of my foundation, actually, yeah, this is foundation. I'm taking it on that Flawless Concealer Brush and I'm just dusting it over my lips to kind of cancel out any color that I had on my lips because before this I tried on a different lipstick. And then I'm going to take some transparent powder and dust that over to kind of leave us like a really matte finish on our lips so we have a nice canvas to work with. This is Diva from MAC, which is a really nice red, deep fall color, and it's so gorgeous. And let me tell you, this is probably the hardest time I've ever had with a lipstick. I just, me and dark lips do not mix. But I'm just placing that onto my lips as so. 
And then I'm going to go in with Night Moth Lip Liner from MAC as well. And I'm just going to be placing that on the edges. Don't worry about that little mistake underneath. We will be cleaning it up in a little bit. But I'm kind of doing more of like a vampy ombre effect. So I'm placing that on the outermost parts of my lips. So my cupid's bowl, the edges of my lips, and pretty much anywhere like around my lips. And then I'm going to blend that inwards to make them all mesh together. Then I'm taking my MAC 212 Flat Defining Brush and I'm cleaning up the edges of my lips because, well, I can't do lipstick and dark lips is such a hassle for me, so I have to go back and clean it up with some concealer or foundation. Alright you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I love reading your guys' comments and all of your guys' feedback. So. Definitely leave comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you love makeup tutorials because I love makeup tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I definitely appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys are thebomb.com. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Been waiting all year. And here's where I land. I'm center stage with you. All eyes where you stand It's been a long year Now I don't want to end We're catching dreams here